Umetokoa na kutuisha Umetuganga na kutulisha Wati miliza mambo yetu Bwana Watu sambe Watu oko watu Na tuise tu Wadili sako Bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Ni maku Fadili zako bwana Niza milele Matendo yako kwetu Ni maku Ni na yako tu Ni kusuri lako Ibinili nani sababu yako
fellowship every Wednesday, 6.45 p.m. Today, we have, we have health boot doing, giving diplomas or doing diploming. So, we did it after this service and the second service, to tapita parente, to pate dawa sabinyo. In the district, uh, today they have a visit to their elder in the afternoon. That is in many district members. We have advertisements. The first one is from PCA Sukari Parish. They are advertising for accountant. Uh, so many requirements. That will be on the 14th February 2022. Uh, still from Sukari Parish. They are advertising for a cook. Uh, that will be on the 14th February 2022. Uh, still from Sukari Parish. Advertising for a security card. Uh, that will be on the 14th February 2022. From Kastarani East, uh, advertising for the post of a crowd man, stroke bus attendant. Uh, that will be on the 17th February 2022. This is Kahawa, Kastarani East Parish. Still another one from Kastarani East Parish. Uh, request for expression of interest to audit PCA Kastarani East Parish books of account for the year ending that is September 2022. Uh, that will be on the 24th February 2022. Uh, Dome Parish, the advertisement for a faculty position that is caretaker. Dome Parish, Manataka caretaker. That will be on the 21st. February 2022. Uh, this advertisement is only to Kimariza. If you have interest, it has part of a notice board. To call a notice, notice board outside there, opposite door number one, Hapo to the part of a uh, uh, From our uh, parish, that is PCA Kasarani Central Parish. Advertising advertisement for an ECDE teacher received recent readings, Shiego Presbyterian Academy wishes to advertise for the above post. Uh, a suitable candidate must fulfill these conditions. Uh, at IC, it has all my other requirements. If you are a teacher, an ECDE teacher, and if you are interested, deadline will be first, Tuesday, first March 2022, still, Taipata Kwanoti is not yet. If you are interested in the teacher and EC DE teacher. Mm, another one advertising from Kasarani Central Parish. Advertisement for the post of a B1 teacher, two posts. Still for our school, Shiko Academy. Uh, so many requirements. Come away the board. Deadline yet on 1st March 2022. Still, you take part of a notice board. We saw them and then you have a copy. Uh, to a benchmark, so to go on a audit, that is parish internal audit. Uh, the final group will be today, 13 February, that is parish office and Shieko Academy. Here to be back here for internal audit in it going in day over the week. So the final lot is today, parish office and Shiko Academy. Uh, have the rest uh, the last letter with me and that's all by lot. PCA Kasarani Central Parish. Expression of interest, proposed construction of six story building. PCA Shiko Shash which is one of the congregation. Within PCA Kasarani Central Parish in Nairobi North Presbytery, the church is intends to construct a six-story building that will have a parking ground floor, church school classes, teachers, staff room, toilets, dining hall, and a parish office. 
the complex should be a six-story building built in an area of approximately 2,000 square feet. As part of construction of six-story building PCH Yekoshash, Kassaran Central Paris invites expression of interest from a firm to provide the required consultancy services. A eligible firm with relevant experience should express their interest by providing the following company profiles, one, registration particulars, registrar of companies, relevant regulatory boards, CVs, and certificate of technical staff, staff of the firm, list of previous works undertaken, proof of the past assignment of similar nature and magnitude undertaken by the firms together with their values, leverage, and contact details. Farid tax compliance certificate from Kenya Revenue Authority, financial proposal expressed as a sum, any other supporting document. The selected firm will render services which include all activities, whether explicitly named or not, deemed relevant for the successful completion of the design, preparation of bid documents, and supervision of constructions of building. Interested eligible firm may obtain further information at PCH Koshash or from our church administrator. Uh, complete serialized or uh, strong magnetic expressions of interest documents and closed in print single format with the tender. The tender evidence number and address to the LCC chairman, PCH Koshash Kasarani Parish. Uh, to be received on or before Wednesday, 2nd March 2022 at 11. Uh, you are surprised, Elder Catherine Jen, our session clerk. Still, you take part of a notice board if you are interested. Is it sort of to take part of a notice board? Do you want to take part of a party? This time we are going to invite a parish minister. I'm glad to see you, all of you, may the Lord continue to bless us. Uh, before the PCMF chair comes along to just bring us into notice on how we are progressing on, We want, as the parish office, uh, to introduce an intern secretary to the office because I believe she should be known to you that at least you can interact with her for the time that she will be with us. Uh, our secretary, Jim Dutakeri, has gone for maternal leave from uh, February to beginning of July, and for that period of time, we will have an intern, someone to stand in for her. It is not a short period, and we believe that since you people will be coming to the office for one reason and the other, especially for the registration of our children who will go through the light of passage and other programs that we will be holding. Uh, we thought that it is important for us to introduce her to you. So I request uh, the session clerk to bring her to the altar. I don't know where she is seated. Naili Yakwaba to Kaweze Kuoba Nai. Nahata to Salimie, Nahata to Tiwa Mike, at Apata Mike Naili at Pati at to Salimie, to Jue, Gina, to Mone Sura. Naili Wakati to Kaimi and Katika Ofisi. Taweza kupata nafasi ya kuona. Very good.
Kristo na nitoa marafiki. Nataka kushukuru Mungu kwa nafasi hii na kwa kunipa fursa ya kufanya kazi na nyinyi na naamini kwa hiyo siku kadhaa nimekaa nimetembelewa na nimeona Mungu atupendo. May the Lord bless you. Tunapofanya hii kazi tunafanya kwa sababu ya sisi wenyewe tunafanya kwa sababu ya Mungu. So naomba kushirikiane ukishike mkono uniongoze na unionyeshe na natumaini na naamini Mungu atatubariki kwa pamoja Bwana Yesu awabariki na watendee mema Sikuja peke yangu nilikuja na Mr. Joguna who happens to be my husband na naomba tu wafanye hivi Bwana akubariki sana Bwana akubariki sisi sote Thank you Asante sana uh, leo nitakuwa sehemu ya baraka na kwa hiyo mkiona nimetoka msiwe na shida tunaenda pale huduma pamoja na sisi ya session na bwana atatubariki tutaweza kuomba kwa ajili ya dada yetu nikaomba asimame hapa mbele ya angalia upande huu e, kusimama tu na ili tu kabidi mikononi mwa bwana kwa muda ataka ukua nasi bwana awaneema asante wote na tuombe na kushukuru baba Mungu mwenye enzi kwa wema wako na fadhili zako nyingi katika maisha yetu. Umetuonyesha upendo wako mwingi kupitia kazi ya msalaba ya Kristo Yesu aliyetupokoa. Na hata kutuleta pamoja kama kanisa lako na ili tufanye kazi ya kupanua huduma yako katika eneo hili. Baba wa mbinguni tunakushukuru kwa maana umetupatia mmoja wetu jeni jukuna na ili akaweze kuwa sehemu yetu kwa muda huo mfupi tuamkabidhi mikononi mwako tukiomba utaweze kumpa neema nguvu na kibari ya kufanya kazi yako baba wa mbinguni kwa muda huo mfupi mfano mwema tunajua anahitaji kukuona katika maisha yake na ili hata baada ya nafasi hiyo kuisha baba wa mbinguni akaweze kupata lango kuu limefunguliwa na wewe kwa ajili yake na ili maisha yake ikazidi kufanikiwa. Tunaomba Bwana ukazidi kumtembelea, ukazidi kumtendea na wakati atakuwa na sisi akafanyike baraka kwetu. Na vile vile nasi tufanyike baraka ya pekee katika maisha yake na familia yake Bwana. Tuwakabidhi wote mikononi mwako, yeye na watoto wake na wanake Bwana zidi kuwatenda mema na uwainiwe. Mfano wa mbinguni tunaomba uhusiano mwema Tunaomba baba wa mbinguni mkatusaidie na ili tushikane pamoja tufanye kazi yako. Wanapowapokea wale wote watakuwa wakija katika ofisi. Naomba Bwana ukamuongoze na kupe hekima na ili baba wa mbinguni aweze kufanya kazi yako kulingana na jinsi vile ingekupendeza wewe. Na wewe unaye katika siri utaweza kumkirimia baraka zako kwa njia ya nguvu. Baba wa mbinguni kuwa naye na kubariki kwa maana ni katika jina lake baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu tunaomba na hata kuamini. God bless you. Let us receive her with a clap. Sisi mstari wa kwa najiona sasa unaona kule amekuja. Ukitaka kumtafuta mchana siku ya kazi unajua tayari mtakuja. God bless you for coming. Let us appreciate you most. Praise God. Uh, I'm Wallace Kamau, Chair PCMF. Nimesimama uh, on behalf of uh, the PCMF office as it was announced by our registrar concerning the right of passage. Na miketaka kwa imiza our brothers and our sisters. Uh, during this period of initiation, this is the period napata watoto wetu wanapata mafunzo yenye haitawasaidia wakati watakuwa wazee i don't understand how kijana mwenye ametoka class 8 anaweza kuwa anaingizwa kwa mafundisho about there is no jesus because people are taking advantage of this period wakati wa initiation so what are we doing as the bcm 
tunapatia chakula vilivyo cuz this is the time they need to eat and uh, to have a balanced diet two we have teachings we need to teach these guys we need to change the situation we need to change the conversation so have we done working here but for the first three days uh kutoka hapo ni lessons um tugati anatupatia ga mentors wanakuja wanakuwa na lessons every day na i can tell you this huyo mtoto akitoka he will not the one who went there za so, kutatoka kama amebadilika atatoka kama amejitayarisha kuingia kwa maisha ya kujitegemea yeye mwenyewe so mimi ningewaomba a uh, tembelea pale kwa PCMF umbrella we have the application forms we are paying 2k 2000 for registration then the balance you can clear wakati unaleta mtoto that is on 18 if not so unaweza pitia kwa ofisi you find our secretary Jane there kuna form iko hapo utajaza na utakuwa ni utaenda nayo kama unataka kujua lolote our numbers are there kwa notice board and you can call the chairman secretary or treasurer ama upitie pale kwa mafuri upige simu there is a lot to be explained na za kosa nafasi ya kuelezea kila kitu but tuko hiyo namba tupigie ama upitie pale na tutakuelezea may god bless you
request all of us who are below 35, can you let us stand? We are full house, I can see even there in the garden. All of us who are below 35. Mukoyaji, Simabeni.
Me and you, we are the donor. When you give through our tithes, when you give through our offerings, when you give through our thanksgiving, fast fruits, that is what sustains our church. And therefore, when you give, remember that you are doing good and great to this kingdom. Na kuna mtu anasaidika kwa sababu ya wewe na hiyo shilingi 10 na pana hiyo shilingi 100 kwa sababu it goes beyond where you can go. Let us stand up and pray for our friends. I know that our mighty God again we are before you this morning. It is because of your eternal love that you love each one of us oh Jehovah Father that you have given us this special day today that we are in our sound mind and we have good health and Lord that you have provided unto us and therefore we can give through our offerings, through our first fruits, through Jehovah Father of our offering and even our tithe so that Jehovah Father as we are praying that it can be a sign of our faith in whatever you have said oh dear Lord Lord this morning we know there are those that have come they are giving their offerings because of them to show the love that you have shown upon them you have given them, you have provided them to them, you have been a security to them. And Lord, in action, they will give so that your Father, they can show their faith on you and on your heart, oh dear Father. Those are that your Father that will give their offering and their tithes, gifts, all that's giving. Because Lord, in their endeavors, your Father, you have opened doors for them. In their businesses, oh Jehovah Father, and others that you have given them job opportunities. Out of what you have given them, Jehovah Father, you have also given them a, a willing heart to come and give, oh dear Heavenly Father, this morning. Our prayer this morning, Jehovah Father, is that they give in the discipline aspect of giving, Jehovah Father, that you may bless them, walk with them, help them to understand that they are giving, Jehovah Father, to extend your kingdom. And when Jehovah Father, your name is glorified we will also be satisfied. We invite you, Jehovah Father, we know, even among us, Jehovah Father, there are those who are much willing to give their tithes, their offerings, and their thanksgiving. But because of their circumstances they are going through, Jehovah Father, they are unable. Lord, we are praying as a church. May you unrock those circumstances, Lord, to their favor, that they will be able to give willingly for their kingdom. Lord, we welcome you. We surrender our unto you. Because Jehovah Father, once we give and see the extension of your kingdom, our hearts will be filled with joy and your name will be glorified. For this is our prayer of faith in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen. Amen.
to us of you as we take your uh, uh, notes. Uh, today, uh, I want us to uh, look at uh, uh, this year. It is as in an year of action. We are calling it an year of action. And I can see that you have been a signal to the Lord and, uh, uh, and, uh, and his friend. Seek his face. I can see it there. Uh, and also, as in session we are saying, is an year of action because you have been here 2021 that you have been oppressed, pushed by the pandemic and the situation that are there. So therefore we are saying is a year of action and moving forward. And uh, therefore today I want us to look at uh, the Lord's finding and our topic today is about be molded by God. Mold me Lord though it is painful. So those who are writing I know we go together for the few minutes that we are in this weekly service. Mold me, Lord, though it is painful. Nifinyange mungu ata ikawa iko na uchungu niposa nikaweze ukuwa mungu. The Bible, we have read two scriptures, that is 1 Kings 6, 6, 7. 1 Kings 6, 6, 7. And also Jeremiah 18, 1 to 11. The Bible has stated to uh, clearly the stones, that is the number seven, I want to paraphrase, the stones which, with which the temple will be built have been prepared, have to be prepared and the quarry, quarry, so that there was no noise made by the armors, axes, or any other iron whose as a temple was being built. I want to bring you nearer by having some exposition of this word. It's a time that uh, Solomon was building the temple of God. And as was, uh, Solomon was doing this, the Bible says he was inspired by God and given conditions that the temple will be built. If you read from chapter number one, going up to the, the last chapter of that, uh, uh, last verse of that chapter, you hear about up to verse number seven, that there are conditions that Solomon was given. This is the temple of Jerusalem. This is a temple that uh, the Israelites used perform ratios. They used to worship there. All sorts of worship. Everything was done there. Offering. They have really done an offering. Uh, intimations. Praise and worshiping. Reading and hearing the word of God. The way we are doing as part of worship. Everything was happening in Jerusalem. The headquarter. We are here in Seco. We are saying it in the headquarter of uh, Kasalani Central Park. Temple was being built. And the Bible says clearly that uh, he was told building this cubit, do this, the centimeters, the length. But finally, verse number six, seven, he has told that all the stones to be shaped in the quarry, all the stones, all the building material to be prepared in the world so that in the sight there is no noise. Brothers and sisters, in the church, in the current generation, the generation Z that we are living, post millennium generation, the church, the modern church, the latter church, God has told me to come and say in Sierra, there is a lot of noise. There is a lot of echo. There is a lot of disturbance. There is no smooth worship. There is no continuous worship in matters of giving, in matters of praises, in matters of prayer life because our souls, our salvation are not yet well prepared in the quarry. So therefore, I want us to look at the way we can be prepared well in the glory before coming to 
worship the Lord. Why? I'm asking myself. Why is in the churches, not only in the Presbyterian? Why do we have lukewarm Christians? Why are our family altars are failing? Why are our church altars failing? Why is our giving not to the maximum? Why are we wanting? Why our leaders are every day trying to sponge our pocket so that we can give? Why? 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 That was my question when I was preparing this sermon. And I remember there is a, a molding process that is needed by PCDA Shieko Church. Second reading in comparison of this, we have Israelites who are taken to captivity. You will write, you write, I'll give you the point to take home later. Israelites who are taken to captivity. Jeremiah, as a major prophet, had an oracle or had a voice to take to the people. Remember these people are in Babylon. Remember these people who are chosen. The way people of God, 2 Peter 9, we are chosen people. We are royal priesthood. We are people of God. We are the people of the altar. We are chosen people. The way these who are chosen. But these people, they are in captivity. Then Jeremiah was told, go to the potter's house where we are praying. Jeremiah 18, verse 1 to 6. And in verse 6, I want to paraphrase it. Paraphrase it. Have I the light to do with you, who are the people of Israel, who are the potter, did with the clay? The Bible says he went to the potter's house and he made somebody who is molding. The way the previous evening we have talked about construction of a temple. Here we are having a vessel that is being constructed. And the Bible says when he reached there, he met somebody who has called the potter in a wheel, potting or molding, molding, molding the pot. And when he was molding, sometimes the pot would not be the correct shape. Therefore, it will be remodeled, it will be fixed again, it will be needed again, it will be spied again to become a different vessel. Maybe it was a pot, he is a porter, maybe it is a vessel like a bread, maybe it was a car, but if the shape was not correct, this person would remold it again. Brothers and sisters, God has spoke to me. I come to speak to, to Seattle people that we need to be molded in the correct way so that we can withstand our salvation. So that we can be productive in our salvation. I want us to go through the seven stages of being molded by God. The seven stages of being molded by God. Listen me to be careful. Mold me though it is very painful. There must be pain during molding. Look at the potter. Look at the potter. Look at Jeremiah. Look at this temple. Look at the locks. Look at the locks. They have to be shaped. I was thinking about the uh, type of lock. Straight. Even if you put the plug, it becomes straight. Look at this potter. The potter takes the clay, takes the, 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 the soil. But remember, it is not all types of soil that are used for molding. So he, he removes or he sifts and sifts to get the correct particles for molding. The first stage when we are being molded by God in our salvation, in our spiritual life, we have to be sifted and sifted. Look at Peter. 
Peter is telling to temptation when they are with Jesus Christ, when the cock did the right time. He was seated by the temptation. Sifting. We have to be seated by God. Our lives have to be covered. They have to be seated collecting. Before you come to this country, that like I myself, with this preaching, as a preacher, I have to be seated. What to bring to you, people of God? Before you come to present that ministry before God, that God has called you the choir. Before you sing, before you give that painful sacrifice, last mountain petrol. Before you give that perfect leadership, eldership, deaconship, group leader, last mountain petrol. The first stage, sifting and being seen. Number two, you have to be needed. Needing, wakati tunapika chapati, the second stage, this clay had to be needed properly. If you go to the construction site, there is a machine that makes concrete in a head allowed so that it can be mixed properly. The clay needed to be mixed properly so that it can be united. As a judge, see a judge. Lazima to be a big work, yes. The posa to Sikana. Be the worship in a summer. Be your be your choir in a summer. Be your elders for the summer. Be your Tugadi and a summer. So that we can go together. We need to be needed so that we can go together. We need to be needed to be removed the air. Could I have a mind of what I am? Lazima to somewhat to dog through our channel. Una feed one of water. Una nidiwa. You have to be needed so that to remove the air that is broken your spiritual life. Number three, because of the time. Spinning. Number three is spinning. Today we are going to say spinning. They want us to be more of a teacher. Number one, you have said seated up. Number two, number three, spinning. The Bible says clearly, this man who was in the potter's house had a wheel. The wheel was rotating. The wheel was rotating. And when it was rotating, it was trying to smoothen the vessel. You have to be skilled in our salvation for us to be proper. Latina to Zukuzwa to Zukuzwa. You cannot go to the next level when you have not passed the first lecture. You cannot go to class 8 when you have not passed through class 1. You are salvation journey. You have to undergo from toddler stage to baby stage to from baby to toddler to youth and maturity. You have to be involved in a wheel. You have to be tested. You have to be saturated. You have to be checked. The following year, the church in the city na kupereka kwa chairman wa PCF. Rakini bado na pata wazee wa mekauto a attacki kuja fellowship. The other time na pereka kwa evangelism. What one na kata kwa na mission? You have to be checked. You have to be rotated. You are salvation. You are spiritual right. That thing you are targeting, it does not come the first day. You have to be taken along a journey. Exodus 14, uh, uh, chapter 13, the Israelites were told, you have to go the wrong journey with seven wilderness so that you can be united as a God to us. Can you say that? You have to go along a journey to realize in the wilderness that there is lack, there is dust, so that you can realize there is God of providence. You have to be split. Number four. Number four. You have to be shaped. Remember this water is circulating, making the shape in the hearts. Making nyungu, whether you call out marriage, hapa do in a car you give it. For you, you have to get a good shape. The way also, when they come to help, when they come to help, 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 they come to help
tulikuwa na mwili ambao unatuletea shida na tuweze kuombe lazima tudai hiyo mwili sikae figa ingine ambaye haikai before we have to die so that we can be strong we have to exercise the same with the shaping of our souls it's not like we should not have shapeless souls shapeless salvation so that we can be fit for the task you know you can be you can be able to be fit somewhere look at these stones that that that, that Solomon is told they have to be shaped ndio hii ikiwe hii nyumba lazima mawa iweko vizuri iweka niwe vizuri isikane if there is a space the house will crack the same with your salvation you have to be packed properly all the stones all the nine gifts gift of love gift of joy they are packed today you are tested the other gift so there you are tested patience the other day you are tested love the other day you are tested whether you are hungry you are tested you have to be shaped properly number five, we have to be decorated when this article if you like to look at every kind of an article around me to step back a little bit if you look at this car it has some decorations remember it is made up of cowling cowling clay it's a kind of a clay at this car it looks sweet but if you go to where it is being made utapata kitu ambacho inakaa hapo but now it is mixed with other other things that make it beautiful your salvation you are you are you are ministry you are singing you are worship lazima itoe barakato kwa mwenyezi Mungu aliye nguvu lazima ipigie mwenyezi Mungu so that it can be a good vessel lazima siku toa you are giving i want to ask this you are giving should not be the one ya kufinywa na elders na deacons na church leader lazima iwe na manukato nikitoa hiyo kitano kilikumi za mjeko ya class nikitoa hiyo time and offering i have to bring it when it is decorated so then it says after to one create in me a complete spirit a spiritual spirit that i can worship you in love tiboka na roko wada haya no no maone mare wenda mona kuri wa mushi you are still at home when you are worshiping god you are stored face you don't have joy you are minister you have to be decorated tell your neighbor decorate your salvation now stoy mas mwambie decorate your salvation you are salvation must smell must have a good perfume it must smell in the other district where you are not the person who can get to a district who are going to talk they run away from you because you are salvation it is from a second that is not well decorated how the finyango how the chipiwa you are not yet decorated as a singer as a missionary as a nasha there's a nasha meet i have a very good testimony very early in the morning 8 or 7 akanibe oh tumeke ibada but welcome on of god go to the festival take a cup of warm water i read that minutes i mean it could i mean yes got back at the the first but i am well i'm welcome to this is echo you are made a street have to be decorated number 6 try look at this look at this vessel look at this vessel the vessel it has to be dried in a kiln kiln is a kind of an oven that dries these cups and the pots wherever they are made last but not least in your ministry you have to be dried in your ministry not too hot temperature not too cold temperature God looks at you and how did you get there Nikira the bed is my good friend Nikira the bed very high temperature of temptation he will she will melt Nikira the mama kamau mama muende baba kamau baba muende very high temperature the salvation will melt he has to try you with the correct temperature your salvation have to be tried to be the correct vessel and then after being dried well if you are dried matter of the year if you are dried not very well
tested, your salvation will crack. If you are tested, you will not go to a test. But because you are not right through the wilderness. Sometimes I was asking myself, why should I leave the teaching profession and come to this, this call of an evangelist? Why should I live here? Why should I be here? Why is this, is this new call having troubles than even the other career which I was having the purpose? The call has to be dried. The ministry has to be, the service that you are doing as a rating, as a rayman, you have to be dried. Last and not the least, I'm rushing with the time. You sing and you sing. Can you say really you sing and you sing? Are you aware of now to lay our kiba? Kesho Unapata wa my pastor. Ama but today they wash you very well. On Tuesday, you get them in the Mega Hunters. Wanarusha maneno hata uwezi kukiria kwa siyasa. Wanarusha maneno. Because they are used on Saturday, but on Tuesday they cannot be reused. You have to go under a process called using and reusing. You are, you are, you are great. Your salvation has to be prepared in a way that today you don't change tomorrow. If you are today a righteous person, you continue working for your grave. You continue working for your salvation. You continue going to district during the weekdays. You continue going to fellowship. You continue with the prayer and fasting. I'm very happy that now in PC there is that 21 days of prayer. Ours, as they said, they are completing this weekend, coming weekend. I don't know here, when. But it is good to continue, to continue in the prayer life. How many days do you pray and fast? But before that, let's go to just five contents or tools of modeling. Five tools. Let's pray my IT man. Prayer life. For shapers, there are five tools. Remember these rocks are being shaped. Those who are writing, there are five things. Just five things we call it a day. Five things that we need to shape our life. In your prayer life. Pray without ceasing. Jesus prayed for 40 days in the wilderness. How many days do you pray? If you are happy to pray a good, more be though painful. Fasting to reduce noise. Remember the man, Solomon, the wisest man in the Bible. He has told, I don't want to hear the noise in the sight. Why are we hearing the noise in the church? Why is there a lot of noise? People are coming when they are quarreling. People are coming to bring their time. They are, they are pushed by elders. Because they are, they are not old and well. Fast. Fasting is a ritual. But we assume it. Fasting. The other day we had, we are fasting in form of this. So one day, I don't want to say the idea. One of the people are going to what were you going to do more do you find out that you are going to say that you are going to say that you are going to say that you are it is a ritual prayer goes with fasting the book of Mark 14 9 Jesus told the disciples some people cannot go just with their prayer they need an extra mile of fasting if you want to mourn your salvation you have to fast I'm telling you now it's February. February, we have renewed our covenant last month. We have to pray and fast. Number three, fellowships. Do not give up meeting. Hebrews 10, 25 to 26. Do not give up meeting. Some people, you see them in the district today after three months. They are district in the You don't see them today, they are district in the Nikon. 
Keep on fellowshiping. Keep on. I want to remind you people of CECO. Fellowship is very important. Even if you come five people here in the church, you go to, 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 to your district at your homes. It is a ritual. It is a state. It is a content. It's a tool of holding your salvation. Those who don't meet, I'm talking to people who have who have a growing spirit. If you don't meet, you Yes, that we had a youth fellowship. I always go there to mentor them. Youth Kunapata, we were six out of 84 youths. One of the other youth service. So I want to tell you, fellowship is very important, brothers and sisters. Reading the word of God is another thing. Where is your Bible? Where is your Bible? Read your Bible. Church, read your Bible. Please, I want to do some, some, uh, some, some, uh, some exam. Read your Bible.
kwamba you have to prepare yourself for prayer and reading the word of God the way you prepare for job the way you the way you prepare for that normal task you have to prepare yourself to feed your soul you don't go to the dining dining room when you are not prepared to eat you have to prepare to read the word of God brothers and sisters the last one is to witness whatever you have taken you have to witness to the test body through taking the mission of ask if you want to grow that is why i am god here to come as a guest speaker na kwa hiyo nikaita mwingine hapo tukaita mtu mwingine hapo to take the word of god to different places you have to take the word of god normal christians do not go for mission they save thomas salvation you have to witness through test body Matthew 28:20 mission for the lost souls we have not accomplished the full gospel we have just gone to Nairobi the, the other day the, the other hour some few minutes elder has said about Turkana unatoa pesa yako inaenda Turkana Rodi Kiani the other day you are in a manga with the with our parish tukaona huko na manga people want the word of god especially all of us from Tanzania go and witness the word of god but we that is the greatest when jesus was was living Next page. Ni masadi imenisukuma nikiambiwa masadi kumaliza. Hiyo tutamaliza baadaye. Fraction next page. Next page. Hizo hatana nazo simameni. The name of God the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Simameni. Mold me God. Though it is very if you want to walk over as a boy. I want you to as you raise the hand as a sign of sacrifice, you open your mouth and tell God God mold me from stage 1 to stage 7 in this February you have passed a lot only one man 2022 you are made straight maybe you are singer there just open up your mouth make a prayer two minutes for this altar call tell God that singing kwa nini haitokani vizuri that preaching that leadership in the district that leadership in the group quality kuna noise because you are not well shaped in the choir you are not molded well just open up your mouth and tell god mold me though it is very painful the journey for the seven stages is very painful the journey the journey is very painful oh my god mold my 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 evangelist mold my heart tell god to mold me Mold your family. Akubie ndoa yako. Ni kama imefika mwisho. Ndoa yako ime imefika pahali. My viewers, tell God to mold you. Those who are watching from the different part of the nation. Tell God to mold you with the seven stages. Tell God the way Jeremiah was taken in the potter's house. You are giving me one thing. Tell God to mold you. I know it is painful. I know it is painful. But tell God, mold my giving, mold my stewardship. Mold my reading the word of God. Mold my ministry. Mold me my teaching in the church school. Mold me my talents. Mold my gifts, the gift of wisdom. Rabukotel sharabuk. Lord mold me. I know it is painful. The church of Chicago more more them more that woman more that man more that youth though it is painful Lord they have raised their hand and they are speaking unto you more that youth who is not realizing his gift who is not spying properly oh lord in the mighty name of Jesus i want to disconnect the negative forces that make us not to hear the word of God. I want to disconnect every spirit that is broken the word of God to reach the souls of these people. In the mighty name of Jesus. And from this pulpit, I declare blessings of Shekwa Church from today and henceforth. I declare and we decree together with this congregation that the Lord shall bless our families as we go out and we come back as from Deuteronomy 28 the name of Jesus 
I speak favor February, March, April, June, July, and September, October, November, December. To wake me conochi. Before I make the final prayer, as we are in the mood of prayer, thank you for that keyboard worship. Raise your hand if you have, you want to get salvation. You can't be molded in those stages when you have not started the journey. You are there, you are saying, Pastor, I want to get saved. You are saying, Man of God, I want to start the journey. I want to go and be molded. The journey is painful, but there is egg, a good vessel. The beautiful pot, the beautiful temple that was built, and the temple is even right now there. You are there, you want to get saved. Even in the gallery, raise the hand up, then I make a prayer. You want to receive Christ as your personal Savior. I want to speak a favor of God, you start the journey. U, ufinyangwe na mungu kwenye masomo kwenye wala wako kazini mwaka ni mchanga 2022 you want to be bold anywhere please the heart we make a prayer you want to get saved in the name of God in the name of Jesus raise the heart we make a prayer God is convincing you that you want to get saved raise the heart properly so that you can make a prayer raise your heart I want to there is no one. Is that not raising properly? Clap, Jesus. You want to raise it? Or you are, you are raising because of needs? Bad significa yo. Raise the hand. I'm saying save salvation. Salvation, you want to get saved. I can't close this chapter without the core business of calling you to get saved. Getting saved is the core business of the kingdom of God. You want to get saved? By two minutes hour. You want to get saved? Go. All nations, baptizing them in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Raise up your hand if you want. If you have a need, I make a prayer. If you want to special need, oh, come. Begin in my coffee and make a prayer for God. Special need. You know, begin on Kokoka. Kokoka. Special need in Wenu Mukono. In Wenu Mukono, you have a need, and I want to make a prayer with you. We never tell or a man. Visuri, what a good, what a good offer. Via is one of the opposite of the, the tools. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are people are raising the hand to you. Not to this, to me, but to you as Supreme God. We speak your favor in this day of the day, the quiet day. As you are holding them in this journey, they are special prayers. They have planted a seed through the offering. They have given the time, and now these are your people. They are chosen. I speak that you may hear them. That woman who is having pain because of her child. That woman who is having pain because of her family. That man who is crying because of his son. That man who is crying because of job. That 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 youth who is crying because of job or education. Lord, I pray that you may hear them. And I want to be. We want to disconnect words of the devil and we speak the favor of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Be here, yes, my
Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Sasa umeyoyoma sana lakini nawaumiza tena tusimame tusifu Bwana. Malaika wanashangilia huko mbinguni. Shauri ya mmoja ambaye amepokea uokovu. Tusimame. Kaidi tuweze kuosha kitu. Tukona kutuisha Umetuganga na kutulisha Wati miliza mambo yetu Bwana Watu sambe Watu oko watu Na tuise tu Wadhili sako Bwana Niza milele Mateno yako Kwetu Ni maku Fadili zako bwana Niza milele Mateno yako kwetu Imaku Ina emba yako tu Nikusuri lako Ibidiri nyoni sababu yako Ina emba yako tu Nikusuri lako Angalia tulipotoka Tulipotoka Mbali Umetuzingi la pande zote Kono wako umetutoa mahali Sisa nama Wewe ndiwe mungu 